see what i noticed is that that most of the audience or most of the attendees here are from the shipping fraternity or the ministry of commerce uh, and and so on and by and large the infrastructure based organization representatives now i see each one of you here at this platform trying to see what really is the vision that we are trying to define for the country and try and compete with the international market we have the infrastructure our subject here that we are trying to talk about is how we have to optimize that infrastructure and i think that's exactly where the challenge lies and the challenge is not exactly with the infrastructure but the fact that there's a lack of communication between the infrastructure oriented parties we are not trying to have that as big as possible or the required birds eye view to see how we integrate each one of it together we have couple of ports being developed at an, at a very aggressive pace which are already competing with the world's best but there are many others which are far behind if you look at the warehousing footprint across india again some locations you have exceptionally good warehousing capability being built up right now but there is a large part of the country which is still not being paid attention to so you're not really having the right balance you're not having the birds eye view to make sure that your supply chain and not just logistics supply chain because here we are trying to talk about a solution for not just you know xyz customer but probably us as the customers because eventually each one of you is also a consumer of some or the other product out there in the market whether it is a retail whether it is an automotive or from for that matter anything you name it now to put that all together in the right perspective you need to have an integrated supply chain if the supply chain is not integrated no matter where you are trying to source it from at what cost you are trying to source it from it would not reach the right place and get distributed in the right time it goes down to affecting your buying decisions or buying habits and of course eventually impacts the business owners who are the actual manufacturers or for the or for that matter the producers and uh, end of the day we would still lose the battle if we don't try to see that yes each one of us has to win the game okay right now the way indian market is working or rather say the global market as such works in terms of the supply chain if you see it's mostly based on edi information now edi is what it is electronic data interface you just exchanging data and that data you're trying to utilize for some decision making but what is the kind of data that you get the shipping line is providing you information okay the vessel is berthing the container is at this point of place uh, this location and the freight forwarding company the logistic company it would be in turn providing information in terms of okay it's departed it's arrived now that can only help you make decisions about a singular case at a time i want to i wanted to show that but then it's not there okay i wanted to talk about the blockchain solution edi is something which is now going to become very very primitive blockchain is what was going to go forward and how it will really work is it is going to bring everybody together and every single piece of information that you have each of the uh members engaged or the contributors of information it will all go on to a unified ledger when it goes to a unified ledger it means that as a consignee as the end customer of yours the person would be able to know exactly how many shipments from where what time are they actually moving on time what is the impact what kind of risk management that needs to be looked at and do i need to make some kind of a demand or supply supply related decision making at the destination site based on which my business is going to get affected anyways so that is what i wanted to talk about uh, if anybody would be interested to know uh, more in detail about the blockchain solution which even merck team has uh, been working with ibm on uh, samsung has something similar and i i see this is not something which any one or two organizations need to work on a, in a singular manner it is more so, more of a concentrated effort which has to come in from all the trade bodies which includes the customs authorities which includes the government the shipping lines the ports and of course the freight forwarding companies putting that all together only will make it a better solution for the market